Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shantrinas. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today I'm going to be talking about my hair from Hot Kinky Hair. And I'm going to show you how to bleach it, dye it, and how I got this hairstyle. This is a full wig. Um, there is no parting anywhere. There's no closure. There is none of that frontal stuff. This is literally just three bundles. This is my first time just using bundles without a frontal or a closure. And I think I did a really good job. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the process of how I bleached the hair, how I dyed it, how I did my makeup, foundation included this time because I think you guys have been wanting to see my foundation routine. So Hot Kinky Hair was nice enough to sponsor a giveaway for you guys, so that is absolutely amazing. The hair is amazing, the company is amazing. I'm just like in awe because everything is just so nice. Yeah, so they're gonna be sponsoring uh, free hair for you guys. So if you wanna see how to win some free hair, you gotta keep watching till the end. Who doesn't want free hair, especially, especially since it's so nice. This looks exactly like natural hair, does it not? Like if I told you guys I dyed my hair red today, would you believe it? It's a little bit longer than my hair, but I mean, you would believe it because this looks so natural. Thank you guys so much for joining in today. So we're gonna start off by looking at how beautiful this packaging is. I was blown away, this is so freaking cute. And it's handy storage for whenever you do make your wig, you can just kind of store it in the box that way you know A, what the hair is and where it's from. For packaging, I give this an A plus because it is absolutely gorgeous. So there's hair care instructions in the box in case you've never tried out um, hair like this before. It gives you a lot of great tips. And um, the bundles are all wrapped very pretty. And they also give me a brush, which is pretty cool. And I just want to take a minute to also admire how gorgeous this curl pattern is. I almost didn't even want to dye the hair. Like, I just wanted to admire it in all of its curly, kinky hair beauty. And um, just kind of wanted to keep it like this, but I knew that dyeing it, it would look even better. So this is just a close-up shot of the texture of one of the longer bundles. I, I'm obsessed with this hair, you guys. Like, it is so freaking pretty. So for the bleaching process, I used L'Oreal Quick Blue Bleach and 30 Volume Developer, and I just mixed enough um, in a little bowl there. And I'm using my applicator brush to kind of spread that through the hair. I've tried to bleach kinky hair before, and it didn't really work out that well. So when I did this one, I wasn't really sure how it was gonna turn out. Um, so this is just me trying to figure out how to bleach kinky hair, because I thought maybe I did it wrong the first time, but in all honesty, it was just the hair itself. So if you have good quality hair, it should be no problem bleaching. And this hair, you can tell it's great quality because it reacted the same way my natural hair does when I bleach it myself at home. So I put the hair on aluminum foil. That way I wouldn't ruin my little background thing that I have on the table there. Also made it a lot easier for the hair to develop. So usually um, aluminum makes hair develop a little bit faster. So I just use that um, to speed up the process. And then once I did one side, I went ahead and I flipped it over to the other side and continued to add on bleach there. So this is the hair after I've already bleached it. It looks gorgeous. Um, the curl pattern is still intact. Now tell me this doesn't look like natural hair. Like this looks like, like hair that I basically co-washed and let air dry, which is kind of what happened. So after I washed out the bleach, I used a neutralizing shampoo. Um, the ORS one was the one that they used. For the hair dye, I'm using Sparks, and this is their Red Velvet hair dye. I was going for a maroon and ended up with a very bright red, which I am not mad at. I didn't think I would like red hair, which is why I've never tried red hair, but it actually looks really good, so I'm pretty glad that I tried it out. I'm in love with this hair color on me right now. I'm just so happy it turned out the way it did. And you can see in some areas, once I put the hair dye on, the hair immediately clumped back up to its original curl pattern, which is amazing because, like I said before, I've tried to dye curly hair or kinky hair from other hair companies, and that crap does not work. Um, I think mainly because their hair wasn't human hair or it wasn't like fully human hair, but this hair is the real deal. This is the real stuff. It feels exactly like kinky hair, like a 4A, um, maybe, 3C texture. I'm going ahead with the main choice. I'm using this as my leave-in slash styler. And this is my first time using this one, so I just wanted to see how it would work on the wig before I tried it on my real hair. And I am very impressed with the results with that as well, so. Everything worked out amazingly. Um, there's no negatives to say about this hair, literally at all. The bundles were more than enough. Uh, this is my first time making a full wig without a frontal or a closure. And I think I did a pretty dang good job. I'm very, very happy about how this turned out. 
and I'm doing medium sized twists throughout the hair. I don't know if I could consider this a chunky twist out, um, but they, I mean, they're bigger than I usually do on my own head, but that's because the hair is a lot longer. The point is, this is a twist out. So usually curly hair takes a while to dry. I just let mine sit on my mannequin head for a couple days and then I took it out today. And then next we're gonna do our makeup. So I'm starting off with my eyebrows. I do have a more in-depth eyebrow tutorial if anyone's interested in that. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can find that there. So I'll just go ahead and speed through this one. So I'm starting off with the Smashbox 24 Hour Primer and my NYX White Eyeshadow Base. I did also show you guys the palette that I'm using. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette. It is absolutely beautiful. And then after I've primed my eyes, I'm using my B Bella NG329 brush and using the Jaclyn Hill palette. There is a burnt orange color that is really pretty and I'm using that in my crease and just kind of blending that out as a transition color. So next I'm using this really pretty um, maroon-ish brown color and using my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush. This is their E40 brush. I wanted to define my crease a little bit more, so I'm taking the B Bella RG214 brush and the darker shade of maroon and using that only in my crease. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my crease using my NYX White Eyeshadow Base and this e.l.f. Concealer Brush. Next, I'm going to take this color right here and use that only on my eyelid. Next, I'm going to take the same shade that I used on my crease and using that on the little edge that's right there. And then the darker shade right outside of that one. So I wanted to give this look a little bit of sparkle. Um, I kind of regret doing this later on but I think it overall still looks pretty good. Seeing it on camera now it looks really good. I don't know why I thought it looked bad. Um, and mixing that with a pink glitter and it's from the same brand. It's from JCat Beauty. And then I'm just using that right there um, where I put the lighter shade of orange. I'm using the Nicole Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills in my inner corner. The color is called Glow Getta. I'm also using these B Bella eyelashes. These are called Luscious, and they are indeed luscious because they're just super pretty. So I wanted to do something very light and glowy. Since it is Valentine's Day, I didn't want to do anything too dramatic since my eyeshadow is already dramatic enough. Next, I'm using the LA Girl HD Foundation. You guys know that this is one of my favorite foundations right now, mainly because it matches very well for me, and it's an HD foundation, which I need because, you know, film, right? Next, I'm taking my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. This is in the shade Amand, or Amande. I don't know how to say it. Amande is what I'll call it. And my e.l.f. concealer brush and just um, brushing that out there. Did I say brushing that out? Blending that out. I've never heard anyone say brushing that out when it comes to blending makeup. <laughs> I'm just brushing it on my face. Um, <laughs> yeah, just I'm, I'm just blending it out. And then I'm going in with a lighter shade of concealer from the same brand from NARS and using that only in the inner parts of my eye because I have a little bit of baggage there that I want to cover. And then I'm taking the Nicole Glow Kit in the color Glow Getta, the same color I used on my inner corner, and I'm using my Morphe M501 brush. So in this video, I'm going to be going back and forth with highlighter because I just want it to look super glowy. And the blush that I'm using is from Sephora. It's called Hot Flush. It's one of my favorite blushes to use. It's a really pretty, like, orangey, shimmery blush. It's great for summer, too. If you guys haven't tried it out yet, I would really go pick it up because it's just so pretty. Okay, so I was trying to not set my face with powder at all in this video, but, like, I just can't help it. Like, I get anxious if 
my under eye isn't set because I know it's gonna get all messed up later so I had to fix it and then I'm okay now so yeah it's fine next I'm going in with the same colors as I've been using on my eyelid before going in with the lighter brown shade that I used in my crease and just using that on the bottom lash line and of course going back over that highlighter with some more highlighter it's the same shade I just wanted to add more on Next, I'm taking the color Sepia from Anastasia and using that as a lip gloss. Although I ended up not really liking how it looked with the look overall, so I just kind of showed you guys here and then I changed it. Next, I went in with the Anastasia Cool Brown. This is one of my favorite brown shades. Um, it's, it's, a, it's just a gorgeous nude color. And then here is my gorgeous hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my head there. And here you see me taking down the twist. I didn't know I was out of focus until I started editing, so that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. The twist still came out looking bomb. Um, this twist out is gorgeous. I think this is the best twist out I've done in a long time. Um, usually I do braid outs and I was like, you know what, today I'm gonna try a twist out. So I'm so glad I did. This hair responds very well to the products that I used and just styling in general. It was just really easy to do. I'll just be picking my hair and styling it for a little while. Um, I'm probably gonna speed through this part because I'm just, I'm literally just like playing with my hair until I get it to how I want it to look. Okay, so to win the giveaway, you're gonna have to make sure you're one, a subscriber to my channel. I think that was obvious, everyone knew that, right? Make sure you're subscribed to my channel in order to win. Make sure that you're following Hot Kinky Hair and myself on Instagram. So I'll put their links in the description box so you guys can see. But make sure you're following me on Instagram as well. So just make sure you're following me on Instagram. Make sure you're following Hot Kinky Hair on Instagram. Also repost my tutorial that I did of the hair on Instagram and tag three friends in the photo or the video and you'll be eligible to win. So that's easy, super simple, and you'll get to win this fabulous hair. Cause I mean, who wouldn't want this hair? Come on. This hair is amazing. If you've been having the urge to dye your hair, this is the answer. You can dye your hair any color that you want. Perfect. Thank you so much to Hot Kinky Hair for sponsoring this giveaway for you guys. I am really excited. I, I hope you guys win. Good luck to each and every one of you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.